Um, and, and it really is a, dish, a difference in um, wartime and peacetime. It's really a difference in the decision-making process. And the, the reason that I uh, kind of wrote that, that piece, wartime CO, peacetime CO, is that if you read the, in, in the management literature, it's almost entirely written for peacetime CEOs. So like everything you learn about decision making, you know, and, and delegation and don't micromanage and all these things are very peacetime oriented in the sense that in peacetime, you're much more focused on the development of the people and the development of the organization um, over the long term and the ability for the organization outside of yourself to make higher quality decisions. And, uh, and then also um, kind of be creative outside of the mission. Uh, and that's kind of all affordable if like you've got say, um, you know, like you've got Google search and you're just like running steamrolling through the industry, then you, you can do a lot more kind of peacetime sort of things. Um, on the other hand, right, if you're running out of cash or if you're like Apple when Steve Jobs first took over and they had three weeks of cash left and so forth, like you can't actually, like that's not affordable in the decision making process. Um, you've got to get to the, a very accurate decision extremely quickly. Um, and that's when you kind of have like a, that's when the wartime techniques come into play. And you know, sometimes in wartime, you end up doing things that actually do undermine the development of the organization because the, there's more burden on the CEO to make a much larger number of decisions because accuracy is so important. And the CEO, by virtue of uh, her position, has got more knowledge to make those decisions uh, and, and more authority, too, to make them definitive and fast and qu high quality. So that is a, a lot about what that was about. And I thought you know, a lot of it came from um, Andy Grove has a great book called Only the Paranoid Survive, which a lot of you probably have read here. Uh, but there's a part of it um, where he talks about when he turned Intel from the memory business into the uh, CPU business, which is like a real wartime story. Like it's like, OK, like I walked into the room, and I was like, OK, what would we do if, uh, we were, if I was fired tomorrow and then like somebody came in to replace me and then all my whole staff was fired and replaced all of them, what would they do with the business? Um, and then like I walked out to the car, like I had a cigarette, I looked out into the distance, I was like, all right, we gotta lay off 80% of the people. And you know, those kinds of things are, they're just not things that you uh, kind of normally encounter um, in the business education, but in the real business world, that's like most of it, most of it ends up being wartime, particularly in startup world, like a huge amount of it ends up being wartime. So that's, a, that's kind of the basic.